what I'm going to do is, is I want to answer a couple. I'm going to start answering a couple of questions each uh, episode. I got two questions this episode from just agents that send me questions. Uh, you know, they email them, they message me, they you know send me questions all different ways, and I try to answer every single question. I believe I do answer every single question. Um, this agent sent me a bunch of brownies, and he sent me this card. It says, just for the record, you're awesome. His name is Curtis. Uh, Curtis Lucy. Looks like he's at Lake Mary, Florida. So, Curtis, thank you for the brownies and for the, the card here. And so, Curtis asks, he says, Ricky, thank you for taking the time to inspire us in the field. I really like your style, brother. May I ask a question? How do you lay the groundwork and stay in touch with the buyer to ensure loyalty? without feeling like you're too pushy. Example, um, you're at an open house and you have guests who are not committed to an agent. Thank you, brother. I look forward to continuing to learn from you. I appreciate you, Curtis Lucy. Curtis, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate this. His, his question was about how to lay the groundwork and stay in touch with the buyer to ensure loyalty without feeling too pushy. So, great question. Thank you for that. Um, the answer is very simple, right? Everything is simple, but not easy, right? That's kind of my little thing. Basically, you're, you're always gonna come from a place of how can I help you? I don't think you should ever call them and ask them anything about when they're gonna be ready to buy. I mean, it's okay to ask stuff like, you know, you know, what would happen if I found you the, your perfect dream home? You know, would you be ready to purchase? I think things like that are okay if you, if you say them at the right time. Timing is everything and context is everything. Body language, tone, and where are you really coming from? Are you genuinely just trying to help them or are you trying to figure out a way to get them to do a deal? Curtis, thanks for the question. I appreciate that. Um, so, I've got another one. JB, I guess he goes by. I don't, he doesn't have a, he doesn't have a signature on his email, so I don't know exactly where he's from, okay? But he says, Ricky, after 14 years of lackluster performance in real estate, I was about to hang it up. Your methods, systems, and energy have inspired me to regroup and relaunch. I'd like to hear your advice for ramping up quickly as a single agent competing with mega teams for business. Thanks again, JB. JB, thank you for this. This is one of my favorite subjects, single agent versus team. Like I understand the difference in concentrating on first time home buyers and concentrating on property owners who own the type of property that I want to sell. I wish I could help everyone in the world. I wish I could help everyone do everything they want, help those first time home buyers accomplish their goals, own in a house and all that stuff, but I can't help everyone in the world. I have to be as efficient as I can so that I can make as much money as I can so that I can in turn with that money help more people. All right. So if this is your first time watching me, just so you know, all my coaching is 100% free. We have coaching sessions once or twice a month. You can go to ZeroToDiamond.com and sign up and get my phone scripts, action plans, everything you need to succeed. And reach out to me with questions and let me know how I can help you. That's not your app, man. What's happening, man? I used to listen to your song, Riding Dirty, back in the day, son. We over here in Mobile, Alabama, riding around talking to some real estate agents, man, making everybody's dreams come true. Yeah, man. I'm going to stay with the city. That's what's up, man. Welcome. Good to see y'all on here. Shout out to everybody in Mobile, Alabama. And stay on that real estate grind, because you know I'm going to stay on mine. Yeah! yeah.